it going, everybody? Welcome, Level M Diecast. We are downstairs, not in room 164, not in the studio. That is one 18 scale right here. I don't really have room 118 anymore. It's just it's just in the living room now, uh, unfortunately. But people always ask me, like, why don't you display your matchbox? Why don't you have your matchbox and display case and all that stuff? You know, you have room 164. You don't have matchbox up anywhere. Like, what's the deal? Matchbox is supposed to be your number one. Matchbox is my number one. It's always been my number one. However, the thing is, is that when I started collecting, I would had no space to display anything. Um, you know, when I started collecting back in the end of 2005, beginning of 2006, you know, I had roommates. I rented a room with, uh, with a buddy. I just had my room. There was no way for me to display anything. I mean, my whole life was in a room. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people can relate, especially in your younger years when you're having roommates and stuff. That's just what you have. And so I got used to just either things were in boxes or they were in the closet or whatever. So I got really attached to jammer cases, obviously, because jammer cases were what everything was put in. And of course, you guys know I open everything. Um, but for me, it just doesn't really seem to click to make room for Matchbox. It just, I don't know what it is. There's a lot of other things like this. 118 scale, I think, is much, much better to be displayed. Um... You know, I have a lot of diversity up in room 164 and a lot of different brands and stuff like that. And it's race cars, it's normal cars, trucks, all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Matchbox just doesn't, I just don't see the purpose of displaying it um, unless you're just a Matchbox collector. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you where I have my Matchbox, how I store it, how I keep it, where it's sitting, why it's like it is and why it seems to work better for me than something else. So let's take a look at that. All right, so this is exactly how I keep my matchbox. This is exactly how it's done up, okay? Everything is kept in jammer cases. I just have a couple of shelves here uh, with an additional shelf right there. Um, that's my whole entire matchbox collection. It may not look like a lot, um, but that's, that's, that's almost 10,000 cars right there. Um, I have them all sorted. They're sorted by models, um, not necessarily organized in the cases in any which way, shape, or form. So if you look right here on the top, you'll see this case just happens to be uh, Volkswagen, you know, panel buses, all different uh, decos, your 21 window coupes or 21 window buses. Um, and then like, you know, stuff where I have like the variations, you know, this Golf has that interior variation. I unfortunately don't have the interior variation for that guy. I'm super sad about that. That was from the Retro series. I was lucky enough to find one model. I was never lucky enough to find a second to try to get the variation. Um, you know, models that uh, are a little bit smaller um, in size that I can kind of squeeze uh, into a case like this, I will. So I'll double them up um, and then just put something in between them so that they don't rub together just to try to maximize as much space as possible. I mean, if I was to sort all these out into just one car per slot, it would be probably five times larger than what you see here. Um, this is roughly, um, let's see here. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20. So 20 jammer cases per shelf, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, few in the front here. So roughly about 200 jammer cases. Um, full of Matchbox. And, um, you know, this really makes more sense to me uh, to sort things like this, um, you know, rather than put them in any other way. And, you know, the only frustrating thing I have is like, when I do Comparo videos, I have to go through every single one of these cases until I find the model I'm looking for. I just have to pull them out and just constantly go through them. And so, Comparo videos actually take a really long time for me to get ready. Um, but I think it's important to bring that stuff to you guys because I have I have all these models. There's very few things I'm missing in the last 20 plus years. Um, very few. Uh, and then, of course, I have a ton of stuff from pre-2005. All those stuff like that that I've collected over the years. But, you know, it's just everything's a different variation. Everything's just a different release. Um like I said, there's there's no rhyme or reason I put these together. You know, you have the XB with contractor trucks, and you have your Kenworths on there, and then you flip it over. 
And then you have stuff like your old school Supras and your Silverados and stuff like that. It's just, it's exactly how they just went into the case. Um, so like this Unimog, I only have one Unimog. You guys know I just did the twin pack the other day. So I will end up adding that other Unimog here uh, once I categorize it, photograph it, and get it up in the collection. Um, you know, stuff like this. You know, you got your Ferraris, you know, all those Testarossas. And I don't even have uh, all of them that are released for a lot of these models. You know, even the 308s up here, I don't have all of those either. So, you know, there's just a lot of stuff to go through. This one happened to be Ferrari on the other side too. You got some F40s in there as well. Gold Challenge. And of course, you know, like these are the ones where it was released and then re-released and then re-released again and released and re-released again. And so... I do have all those in the mix. Um, there's very few of them that I've purged um, as far as re-releases re go. So it's a little bit a little bit cumbersome. Um, I happen to have this going on. Uh, I'll just give you guys a quick peek at this. So if you guys follow my Instagram, I am looking for one of these models. I posted it up about a month ago. I have one model left to do to complete this entire set. The entire around the world set. This is something that I have not wanted to touch uh, since it was a new item in 2003. But I've I've put forth a ton of effort. I have every single thing released in here. All the promo packs, all the the backpack. This particular one is the hardest one to find by far, uh, and I got super lucky to find this one. These are all exclusive. Um, even the mailaways. So they had a mail-in promo. Um, that you can only get through the mail-in promo. So I have the mail-in promo set. So I have all of them, except for one. I'm missing one single model, and that's the Statue of Liberty taxi for New York City. Um, I just, it just doesn't come up for sale. It just never comes up for sale. I've reached out to so many people, and nobody, nobody has one. Um, but this is why I don't collect, or this is why I don't display my Matchbox, because this works better, having them in here, having them sorted like this, and it's a lot easier to just go in there and say, oh, look, they re-released a taxi. Oh, here's the one they re-released. Here we go. Let's go do the video uh, and move on from stuff like that. These are really my pride and joy. Um, and I really feel like it would kind of take away from them just trying to have them on display. And there's just, I mean, there's so many models. There's so many models. Like I couldn't even begin to show you guys how many models there are. It's just, you know, it's an insane amount of stuff and it's, you know, there's not any specific genre or anything like that. I mean, if, if I don't have it, I bought it. It's in the collection, you know, you know, re-releases. You have your Hero City logo, no logo, uh, you know, re-release ones, you know, your wheel variations. I mean, everything, everything is in these mixes. And um, it just doesn't work for me to, to display these. Um, it's just not, it's just not a point of, I don't know, like importance, but it's also... It's also not, um, it's not like I don't want to display them. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work that way. Just seeing if there was anything super fancy that was like readily available, but it's all pretty standard stuff. But you guys get the idea of how it's all done up and how it's all sorted. Just a little bit of everything. Get all your Subaru brass and stuff in there as well. Even the super chases, tour buses, or I'm sorry, uh, double decker buses and stuff like that. I have a lot of stuff that still needs to be added in here. Those uh, spark vehicles, those are pretty cool. I have so many of the 62 Beetles that um, they don't even fit in one case anymore. So that's a lot because they've done a lot of uh, Beetles. So Mustangs. Red Edition, you know, a lot of these older 80s matchbox, you had clear window, amber window, you know, it's pretty common, your variation on the Golf. Ah, just a little bit of everything, but that's, that's where it is. That's where the matchbox collection sits. That's just kind of how it is. Uh, nothing, nothing foul or anything like that. Just, just kind of the way it is. So there you go. I just wanted to uh, throw that up there, kind of give you guys a little bit of insight on why my matchbox is not more dominating in my display area and uh, kind of where it sits and what it's doing. Um, 
don't get me wrong. I mean, if I was if I was rich, I had an unlimited amount of money, and I could just have walls and walls of you know shelving with nice glass covers on them, and I could just put you know ten thousand Matchbox cars on the wall. I would do it, but that's not the reality of life. That's not the way it works here, um, and so that's just kind of where they sit now. At some point in time, maybe I might try to do a rotating theme, maybe like, you know, we're going to do some trucks today and I'll let it sit there for a couple months and then maybe we'll do some cars or something like that. I am not a fan. I am not a fan at all of rotating display cases that for me, that don't make no sense. If you're going to display it, just display it. I, I just, I, I've never understood taking a bunch of stuff out of a display case, putting some other stuff in there. And then a month later, take it out and putting some, some other stuff in there and so on and so forth. Like, make room. Make room to display the stuff or just don't display it. It's just kind of the way I am. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you think about how I, how I treat my Matchbox. You know, if you think that it's kind of weird or if you think that maybe I need to be displaying more of it, let me know. I mean, I'm always open to suggestions and stuff like that. I'm just not a, uh, I don't know. I like consistency. And I like to be able to see the same display case with the same stuff in it all the time, which is just weird. But that's the level in way. So anyways, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Catch you next time here on the channel. Peace.